please work. Otherwise, we're going to have to come up with something else here. In an attempt to spread our squad as thin as possible, we are going to take on this mission. I am scared of it potentially impacting the Warlock and stuff, though, so I don't think it's necessarily that bad of an idea. And uh, Mechtoids are out now, so, you know, it could be pretty decent. We don't know what the other ones are going to be. I have made a couple of changes, though. Uh, specifically, uh, Nightfather's look needed to be updated because he's not a normal character. He was the one that we saved at that first retaliation. So whenever we equip him with a new look, I have to go in and manually um, bring in his uniform. So I've done that, and this is the, the next uniform for him. I've also given him the dragon rounds with the uh, experimental ammo slot because of the resupply ammo. And so we can just toss that around to everybody and get them uh, fire ammo, or dragon ammo in this case. And then we've got the K-15 with the expanded mag and the auto loader over there. Those are the changes. So let's uh, buckle up, shall we? The advanced sit rep means we should, we should stomp. Like that's the theory here. But I'm curious to see what kind of enemies we're gonna run into now that we're force level nine, actually. I thought we were eight, but it's nine. And, yeah. So, we'll see. We should, uh, in theory, I should always just take these. These, Even if we don't have a big thing to do there, if I've got the extra soldier that has to go here for, um, for experience, if nothing else, right? And we do have a couple people on this. Oh, actually, those guys are on our infiltration mission. That's right. We have people that are uh, holding an extra promotion from gaining XP out on covert actions. That'll be fun to catch up on. We've got a prime opportunity here. The We're in Gutter Alley. Operation. Pendulous Intel Fist. Suggests Advent is moving a secure data ball through this area on one of their trains, and the information it's carrying is critical to the alien's efforts. We are moving to secure the train. Eliminate all hostile contacts and recover the assets. Menace One Five. We've got a bead on the Advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are okay. in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Advent sent in some especially seasoned units to try and clear us out, but as far as we can tell, they came alone. Shouldn't be anything we can't handle, Commander. We do have high ground on either side of this thing. Do we have... Okay, so this is a map edge over here. Maybe we play around that until we get up there. We can kind of scout with Kerbinog or Fane here. He's got this new... It's got a couple of things. So first, it's got Weapon Expert. So that's just as good as Lethal, right? From Kerbinog's here. That's insane. And then he's got... He, that Stygian Slayer Tree... Quick feet, so refunds an action point when you're revealed from concealment via your own action. If in shadow, it'll refund one AP the first time you attempt to break concealment via your own action each turn. So you could set up with him, take your shot, it would reveal, but then he gets that action. Orders confirmed. On the move. They keep these trains running around Oof. the clock. Okay, that scared me. See them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. Okay. And we also have three actions. So I feel like our sit rep combination here very strong. Ooh. A Phantassin. Right there. Okay. We, uh, we do have the sniper rifle. Oh, why don't I start with some of this stuff? Let's go... Let's give this to Shrike, sure. And then... I can also... It's zero turn cooldown. This thing, this ability. I remember, I remember how insane this was when uh, we only had one class that had it. And technically, we still only have one class that has it. I don't know if this can show up in the regular tree or not, but let's give it to these guys. This is effective until, until uh, they reload. So, should I just give another one here? I'm not going to fight on this turn. Toaster, Carabinog, both are good. Okay, everybody should have ammo rounds, or dragon rounds now. Yeah, sick. Okie dokie. Now, I don't love that you have to run all the way around there. There is this path up, potentially. 
A little bit riskier than I'd like, but going back here is not that great either. Okay, let's start with this. And then let's go here. And then I could maybe pop up to there, but I just want to clear my my sight lines. I guess, yeah, Fane could see this, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's put you here. Uh-oh. Okay. Paladin Fireburster over there. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Alright. It wants to... It's routing me this way. Okay, well, you know what? We can still use this to scout. That's fine. Make sure that we don't have anything flanking our right side here. That's fine. Good. Now we know this is safe. Oh, Shrike should have had a med kit. <sighs> I forgot about that. Okay. Well, we'll just have to be a little bit extra cautious now. A little bit of extra caution for everyone. I think we'll chill right here. So, I would say, yeah, Fire Burster, Fire Burster is pretty worth the advanced sit rep. Muton Phantasm, definitely. Stop moving. Stop. Stop. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now I do feel like I should get up here. These are all cover, right? Yeah. But... Me trigger from there. Let's go Night Father here. Now, if I open here, we're gonna reveal. Some of us are gonna reveal. So, Tribal Chief, you should be overwatched because of Sentinel. And we saw the other the burster over there. Um Overwatch you. Karabinog, you will not reveal. Shrike. You will. Toaster will. Um. You will not, unless he comes down. Okay, so we'll take this and we'll see what happens here. Surprise! Oh my god! Nightfather. He's like, I got this. Don't even worry about it. Okay, well, that's interesting because now, yes, these guys are um, still hidden because he's in this, like, little dark spot. And so if he patrols next turn, we're going to get shots off. I don't want to accidentally... Go into his range. So I'll just be chill there. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Do I want to risk? No. I, I'm. Everyone's going to stay exactly where they are. Except for maybe you. I could argue that you should maybe... Well, again, same thing. Okay. Let's just be cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we just had it chosen. Heretics, come forth. Okay, Warlock. Okay. Reminder. Summons troopers. Increase crit chance. Immune to melee and shadow step. Shadow step's a terrible one. For us. Uh, shell shocked. We do have some grenades here. We don't have any reapers, though. See the face of your ruin. So, fair enough. Where is that in relation to us? The elders must have gone oh, okay. Pretty far back. They sent in one of the chosen. Let's go. Nice shot. Beautiful shot. Too much trouble. Anybody else? Some shiny armor. Finish him! Hell yeah. Okay. 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 Are you nearly upon you? 
Okay, yeah. That sounded strangely sexual in my estimation. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like that was uh, awkward. For all of us. So he's way back there. We have only six turns. Oh, hello. Okay. I want to maintain that visual. Move into position. But I want to be in a spot like that. Because then... Ooh, this is actually not that good. Let me just see the breakdown here. Yeah, it's just super, super far. So it's 59%. The carabiner, let's, um... Let's take a look here. Okay, yeah, the full auto shots. Requiem corrosion grenade. And allergic to fire. Which, hey, we've got the dragon rounds. We do have the dragon rounds. I don't have any way to, like... I don't have a good way to deal with this. And now that the Warlock's out, like, I do kind of want the Warlock to fight us here. We have high ground. Like, that all feels pretty nice. Can I afford to burn a turn? We're relatively close to the objective. Let me bring Karabinog up. Oh! Oh, right, I moved Karabinog already. My bad. Okay, the other thing I could do is I can I can move here. And then still take a shot, because we have the three actions. So that'll maybe help with the squad sight range a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we'll open here. Nice shot. Now, it's not going to take that extra damage from the burning until it actually s begins to burn. Right? Should go here for the flank. We have the actions. Only 66. Oh my, okay, we're critting today. I see what's up. There will be no more distractions. We are critting now today. Me directly. Scanning. Okay, so that's three enemies killed. To fight. If he's gonna stay back there and he... Oh, that's going to reveal here, I think. Well played. What's that showing me? <laughs> Good shots, guys. Good shots. This is actually a cool little position that we've got set up. Sentinel should trigger here. Yeah. Beautiful job. And another crit. Okay. Are you ready to be redeemed? I don't know if... Is that also... Is that sexual? No? Just me? We need the objective. Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Okay, so does anybody need reloads? You do. Let's get you one. And then we'll resupply to Shrike, because that'll erase the dragon rounds. I do feel like resupply ammo should probably have a one, like a, a one turn cooldown, prob probably. I don't know. I am spending action. I, I don't know. It depends, I guess. I might as well reload Nightfather then, too. You come pick this loot up. You know what would be kind of a neat mod? 
is like booby trap loot or something like that. You would have to make loot drops be more valuable, but have it where if you go to pick up a uh, loot that it could inflict like probably not health damage, but like some type of negative status effect. But then, I don't know. You would have to make the loot really worth it. Like, I remember a long time ago we played with, uh, I believe it was called Grimy's Loot Mod. And that was so cool. Like, the loot that you would get in there is just insane. But incredibly OP. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here. For the time being. And Karabinog now, I'm gonna bring you back. Now, Overwatch is against the Chosen or not great, because he's got Shadow Step. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, that's also annoying. Um, this is going to reveal me, and then I'm going to be able to run to where? He, he's right there, which I don't like, so I might just have to kind of chill here for a second. Securing terminal. Hacking stats. I mean... That's not bad. It's n this is not somebody that can carry a gremlin or anything, though, so it's like, I don't know, kind of wasted. Let's research time and current tech. What am I even researching that's... I don't even think I have anything big going. None of these are that great. I guess let's go here. Wow. All right, all right. Uh, this guy. Uh, Vickers is kind of becoming a favorite here. He's got some interesting... An interesting little loadout. Oh, and oh, he gets the quick feet too. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Should I bring him back to like? I'm gonna bring him back right here. Run, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I totally. Uh, that was all according to plan, obviously. So, we are going to resupply again. Now we have time. We have, we have time here. And we're going to play this as safely as we possibly can. I definitely would like to have an Overwatch available there from Nightfather. You can get a little closer and still maintain the high ground. You too. If for some reason they come running at us here, then great. Let's see what we got here. Should be just one, right? Yep. It is, but he's got a big gun. Where'd you get that? Seems like it might be illegal. Are you old enough to carry that thing? That's not too bad. It's all yours, Nightfather. New helmet, new ponytail, new whiff. But that stock's on there, so we'll take it. Let's see if he shows himself now. It's getting there. Remember that vital shot? So this does different things. Um, will that actually show in here? Unfortunately, no. In the squad select, you can see it. 
It does different things to different enemy types. I could do this run and slice. Uses an action, doesn't end the turn, but can be used once per turn. I mean, that would solve that problem. Might give me eyes on the, uh... Chosen. Hostile target down. But it didn't. So he's in this area somewhere. Should I hunt? It's not behind any of these objects, so... Maybe back there? Who am I least worried about getting mind controlled? Like, it might be Vickers. I'll come here to get some dragon rounds, I guess. I'll do the same here. Because Overwatch doesn't matter with Shadow Step. It's really just about drawing him towards us so that we have the advantage. Oh, do, oh, maybe they already have. Okay, I guess we're good there. Run, Vickers! Okay. He's getting in here. Oh, I, yeah! I should still be... I should still be overwatching for this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's unfortunate. Damn. That's right. Got me. That's going to blow this up, too. Sucks. Wonder if Adhesion Grenade will work against him. Might be worth a try. Put Fane up here, grenade that, exposing him. Nightfather then has that shot. These guys have to move. But if we if the adhesion grenade works on Chosen, I could maybe flank here. I don't know if I can reach that in two. Also have his grenade. And he is he is weak to grenades. Can summon troopers. Okay. If I kill this guy, the, we have to get off of this for sure. Yeah, I wonder if I just like Okay, well, I need to confirm a couple of things first. Ooh, this is kind of a dirty little position. So I'm pretty sure I can still get my grenade to hit from here. Rolling out. But he won't be able to actually see Fane. I'm pretty sure that's where he was. Boom. Yeah, okay. Didn't take that much more damage. Yeah. 
existence returns to the field of battle after serving my master so very well. Okay, I can throw this on. Get the defense. Show me why the elders favor you so. And the crit chance. Last for three turns. He's nearly as dangerous as they are when it comes to psionic capabilities. Let us begin then. Thing is, if she gets caught here, that could be not ideal. I'm still not convinced that this is going to work. Immobilizes targets. Let's see. Please work. Otherwise, we're going to have to come up with something else here. Okay. I fear no trifling eruption. So I would lose sight of this one, which means maybe I'm better off just moving here with one action. Move these guys. To reach an even more wretched condition. I will end your suffering, traitor. Nice, congrats. Look, I might as well do this. Still have the extra action. This looks incredibly strong with, with the extra actions, right? Like, it's being amplified even. Dragon round hit here. Come on. Nice. Get some burn. Okay. Let's see how this adhesion grenade is going to work. Tribal Chief will have a shot from here. Only 67 aim, though. Not bad. We do have the advanced scope there. Graze bands. Okay, not bad. Might as well do this. The dodge, of course. Yep, yeah, okay. Not bad, though. Armor's gone. Armor's gone. Carabinog, he's flanked and lethal. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Alright, so he's summoning. Makes sense. That's what he's got. Gunner goes up top. Spectral army. Okay. He's protected because of the spectrals. And he's going mind scorch. Okay. Looked like it was going to link over there. It would appear I have to learn more of your operations than I had originally hoped. I appreciate your lackadaisical approach to aiding your soldiers, Commander. So he's protected right now. We need to kill these guys. Let's do a reload. Nightfather is doing work right now. He also has a very good shot up top there. I'm 
I'm gonna bring Karabinog up just to kind of make sure we have them available. Tribal could come over here and flank the gunner up top as well. Ah, uh, you know what? Shrike. Let's get you on top of that bus. Now we have some options. I could kill the Rocketeer that I currently don't have a suitable plan for. And get him into killing range. He's also pretty tanky. You know what? I am going to bring him. So you chill there for a sec. seven. I can't target the other one with him for some reason. He's got the visual. It's weird that I can't actually target him. My, I need to get my... I need to, like, maximize my action economy here. What the f... What? Whoa, okay. Awkward. Moving to position. So weird. Terminated. The loss of these subordinates is as meaningless to me as it is to you. Okay, so now... Do I have a stock? I think I do. That's perfect. Didn't even need it, Karabinog. He's exposed now. That's two dodges for you, buddy. Even your seemingly effective tricks are still nothing more than that. Now I do have some problems. So Rocketeer probably is going to cause some issues over here. Unless I frost bombed. Or if I did an extreme dangle here with Tribal to flank this Rocketeer and try to get him to come for us. I just don't want them both going after Shrike. Actually, I wonder. I can hit both here. And the Warlock will die from the burning, and he takes the extra damage from the, uh, thing. Why? Why is that gonna hit my thing? This is basically a guarantee <laughs> that he's just totally dead. If I'm not killing him anyways, does that really matter? He's gonna move, we know that.
Okay. Now I've got toaster free. Uh, who do I try to kill? Is here to stay, Commander. Now we just have to find that thing and put it down for good. Can this Rocketeer blow this up and kill? Do enough damage to kill Shrike? I don't think so. But I'm also looking for a spot where I can not group up. I get that we're flanked here, but it doesn't really matter. Good shot. Okay, expanded mag, we'll take it. This is pretty clean so far. Let's see what the Rocketeer is going to do. That's good. That's good. This is great. This is the plan. And a 57. Well, he's not made to shoot, okay? He's, he's just not. I don't know what was up with this. I'm sure some of you maybe have some inkling as to why that was happening. I'm going to try to give this to Nightfather. See if I can get an angle. Oh, damn. Oh, hello. Surprise enemy. Okay. Okay. I still have some cover, at least. Let's get the sectoid. Exposed. See if Carbonog can do anything. Being disoriented. Hell yeah, you can. Harbinger, you know where to put it. Was that sexual? Yes. Alright. That combination of sit reps, things should go like that. So, I'm pretty happy. Decent loot as well. Flawless. Yeah, very, very clean. 34 damage, 3 kills for Shrike. Fane with the MVP, 25 and 2. Hell, <laughs> okay. That's pretty sick. Do I want to change that? The pose. I think we'll keep this with the tracks. MVP. Um... Warlock with bonus actions and uh, what was that sit rep called? Advanced? Advanced sit rep. Cool. Nightfather, 39, 1 kill. Toaster, 19 and 2. Tribal Chief, 48 and 4. Carabinog, 31 and 2. Yeah, very nice. And let's do a let's do a flawless mission photo here. Get the nice buildings in the background. Hey guys, don't look at the camera. Cool. That was very clean. Whew. 
Okay, so we are... We are dealing with multiple Chosen. That was back-to-back -back missions. I actually didn't even consider that we were in Warlock zone there. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't even thinking that that was going to be a possibility. So I got to be on that now and try to make sure we have faction soldiers for that. For that guy. Have Reapers. The Elders Chosen are incredibly resilient. Despite our victory over them hey. today, we still have much to learn if we wish to destroy them. This is kind of cool. Just give me one sec. Okay, sorry about that. So, detonation shot. Fire a shot that detonates explosives carried by an enemy. Not bad. Not bad. Last stand. I love this. I love this. Because, I mean, obviously. Just keeping people alive. The nurse part is not bad. This this is very kind. Of, this is very interesting to me. Detonating dots for immediate damage. Now that we have some fire going on, like that could be kind of cool. Um, when a new group of enemies is revealed, gain an action. Forward operator allows the skirmisher to better handle enemies that surprise the squad. I mean, yeah. It's pretty good, I guess. I'm gonna take last stand. That's it for right now. Okay. Vickers. Ambush. I think that's a no-brainer here. Steady hands is good. Shadow melt. Strike an enemy with a knife. If you kill the target, enter concealment. Resets run and slice. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. You're immune to the first shot that hits you each mission. Oh, <laughs> yep. That's great. Now, something was weird there with the run and slice. Could be a whole multitude of things. It could be the actual skill itself. It could be the that it was on, like, the... Uh, those summons from the Warlock. It could have an interaction with the extra actions we were getting from the sit rep. Because that kind of gives us one as well. Doesn't end the turn. I don't know. Something was weird there. I'm going to take Ambush. And I'm taking Devil's Luck. As of late, there's a couple, like, Karabinog and Fane. Like, really interesting to me. A couple of neat little classes showing up. Disabling Shot deals half damage, disables the target for a turn. Okay. They can only move, reload, hunker, and make melee attacks. Okay. Blue screen bombs. Your flashbang grenades now disorient robotic units and reduce their resistance to hacking. Oh, that's very neat. It does doesn't count as a like as a blue screen, doesn't do damage. But you can disorient them. You may hollow target multiple enemies within an area of effect with a three-turn cooldown. How far is this? Three, four, five tiles. Maybe this is something we come back for if we need it, but right now I'm using grenades on her anyways. So I'm gonna take blue screen bombs, and you know what, I'm gonna take smoker. We're dipping into that AP. Carabinog is shaken. Yeah, fair enough. It's gonna be a minute. Got the hair trigger, got the basic speed, got renewal. At the start of each turn, heal yourself and all allies in a radius on you. Restores one health. Wow. Cannot restore more than five health to each target during a single mission. Affects the user and allies. Okay. That's not bad. Data pads, crystals, expanded mag, advanced repeaters there, advanced scope. I think we have two of these now probably sell one. Some supplies. All right. A glorious battle. That's part one of the chain. Okay. There's some bonding that could happen. Can't do it now because of the uh, shaken status, but... Warlock. We know. You will bite melee. Allergic to fire. We've caught all of this. And the Paladin Fire Burster. Um, this will light people on fire. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
Nine days on GTS. Got the power relay staffed. When this is done, we can start building there. The question is... There's intel there. We don't need that currently. I have 15 people ready. I'm just thinking about our soldier rescue. I do have to plan for this because uh, one day, four hours. So I should probably do this now. Traces of a signal coming through. Someone on the ground is trying to reach us, but I can't make it out. This sucks. For possible contacts down there. Protects all enemies from the first instance of damage. So I would like to bring out people that can hit multiple enemies, like you, for example. Um. Who else? People that are carrying, like, grenade launchers, obviously great options. Let's bring out Jones, because we've got some stuff to maybe hack from... Well, do I need to really hack the cell from a distance? No, but having him with potentially very good hack rewards could still be helpful. Pollux, I should probably save until... Oh, maybe we could do this. We could bring Teach. And then Teach could carry the... Carry the Gremlin. You don't have to go. And you can still bring a cannon, so you're, like, doing double duties. Uh, Salamantis. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they fixed it. And look, he put a little, uh... Well, that's cool. Is that, like, a little holographic odd logo? Remember how he, how he was broken before? They went in and fixed it. That is so cool. Now, I don't know how you fix it for the specific soldier. Because other people's civilian disguises do not look like that. But that is sick. I don't know. You guys are... The mod team, and they're wizards, man. They're wizards. City center. So we could try his, uh, his whole tracking shot thing again. He still has squad sights, so we can use him normally. Cannon, Tesla rifle. Ugh, probably... Maybe maybe you? You can hit AoE with your immolator. You can even bring this and then take a blast canister. So you got grenades and your immolator. I'm just kind of walking you guys through my thought process on this one. Fly as well with a grenade launcher. I know we're heavy on grenades, but I'm just thinking if it's a group and I want to hit a bunch of them to get rid of that first instance, that's pretty decent. And it can still uh, hit cover too, right? So K-15, Immolator, Sniper, Tesla, Cannon. So maybe like... Is uh, Duchess available? 13 hours. Maybe Rook. Or sorry, um, Rook. I don't want to... Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we don't bring the two gremlins here. I'll bring Collix. She hasn't been out for a while. Okay, let me build them out. Okay, so. <laughs> there's a lot. But we've got Collix, Cly, Cabbage, Rogue, Flying, and Teach... The K-15s over here, I went with the superior laser sight and the superior stock. So at a minimum, Collex with two shots can do six damage, which is really nice. I put the, um, the ammo, or the dragon rounds over here on the Cly. Also can do two shots, has a grenade launcher. Uh, Cabbage has the advanced emulator that I had to buy, and then has the increased range, but that's it. I don't have anything else. Blast canister here, and a grenade launcher. We've got the Gauss Rifle here with the Hollow Targeter on Rogue. We've got the Tesla Rifle here with the Expanded Mag and the Advanced Stock. And we've got the Mag Cannon here with the Advanced Scope and the Advanced Auto Loader. And then we've got the Hacking and stuff as well. So this is all basically to deal with these shields 
So we have like AOE stuff to clear that and then everybody else can try to follow up. That's the goal. So 10 days to infiltrate. Let's send it. We will begin the covert action now that's a lot of gear and stuff that is out there, which is, you know, a little bit scary. So... Let me see if I can go back here and scrounge some more dollars. Okay. Ooh, I could sell a fat data cache here. And they're very interested. And my intel is pretty high right now. I'm gonna sell that. Um... Yeah. Sell some of that. We have two of those gems. I'm gonna sell one of those. Yeah, okay. That'll get us some extra money, or the money to uh, buy things if we have another mission I need to kit out. And hopefully we can scan here. Without too many more interruptions. Okay, she got 3 HP. We've been rolling pretty well on these. At first, we weren't getting anything out of it. Okay, 9 days here, or Vickers. Sorry, 11 days or 9 days. Let's go Shrike. It's gonna take 12. And I'm just curious what his will be, 10. Okay, they're both like plus one day. I think it's good to invest here. Intelligence is standard, so 0% better chance. So I imagine that what this is telling me is I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna get the base level of whatever I pick here. So, what is it, 1 HP? I think so. Aims at 80 right now. And she's still at a relatively low level. Yeah, okay. We'll take the aim. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Despite an extensive study of Dr. Valen's research report. Okay, I have this is instant. To discover how she came to acquire such an impressive understanding of the processes involved in the editing and manipulation of alien genetic material. Though I was never rapid physical mind shield, psionics ex machina. A testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering. Just and want to take a look here. Advancement. Regardless of the risks. Hey, Commander. No. Okay. We noticed early on that the Avenger has a tendency to dip. Oh yeah, here. When the power core is under load without the engines engaged. At first, I thought maybe it was a stabilizer issue, but now I'm starting to think it's all just part of the aliens' grand design. The core itself may not be entirely stable, which would explain why the aliens went through so much trouble to isolate it in the bow. Greetings, Commander. This is inspired. I again, like I have a lot of intel here, but if there's nothing that I need that I feel like I need to race to, I feel like this is okay. Although this could get me experimental sigh. I don't know if that's hugely important right now. Make that our highest priority. Um the other thing I should consider is doing that black site. Maybe the next time we get a, a, a an increase in the avatar project. And we were making contact here. Setting course for Chile. We have 11 ready. 12, two, two teams infiltrating right now. Five on covert actions. Oh, hello. There will be no okay. No Advent loot. And it's Warlock. Now we just saw him. I assume he probably isn't here. Setting course for Brazil. We have supplies to kit out soldiers. I'm probably gonna have to buy armors. And I'm probably gonna have to buy guns. So let me see what I can come up with. One second. Okay, so we've got a bit of a goofy build because uh, we don't. We actually ran out of trooper corpses. Uh, I had to buy a bunch of predator armor. I bought uh, a new Gauss rifle. Everything else we had. 
Um, I couldn't buy any more vests and any empty slots. I just put the I just put the computers in because they're free and I I might as well, right? I might as well give them some. I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, so, a couple of considerations here. We're gremlin and possible hacking here. Uh, we've got the hair trigger, the advanced repeater, and the stock on his exalt mag rifle. Mag cannon here with expanded magazine and prioritizing the hair triggers on our uh, sentinel cannon people, like Geo and Oscuridad. So she's got the stock and the... Or, sorry, the... What is that called? Hair trigger and the auto reloader. Gauss rifles got expanded mag and advanced repeater. Um, Temnotic has advanced repeater and stock. And lastly, I've got the speed loader here. That's all I've got. Combat knife here because of healing touch and drifting contact. Uh, we've got the grenade launcher here, gremlin, claymore, ripjack, mag pistol with no attachments. That's all I got. So. Wish me luck. It's going to be a very difficult mission at the at the uh, retaliation site, but uh, hopefully our squad is capable. Is there anything I might want to buy here? Ripjack attacks do bleeding, dodge and mobility. I want to keep him with this ripjack. It's really like having that whiplash, having that ability to pull somebody a cover, very nice. Although you could argue I could just be blasting people. Your gauntlet now includes a single-use rocket launcher, and your rocket launcher comes with one rocket. Like, I don't know. Flamethrower gains more charges. I would have to kit him out with like a standard rifle, which I don't even have right now. So yeah, we're going to keep him like this. Guys, wish me luck. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.